What's up guys? I just got out of the, out of the gym because you know, you know the health is wealth and uh, if you lose your health, you're going to lose all your wealth trying to get your health back. So let's exercise together every day. Um, I wanted to make a quick comment about the economics and the power of performing at the Super Bowl. Uh, artists want to perform at the Super Bowl because it's a big brand builder. It's a multi-million, maybe multi-billion dollar stage. And I get it why artists would want to be on that stage. Um, right now, I saw that Kendrick Lamar was selected to perform the Super Bowl, and people were surprised that they didn't select Lil Wayne and Cash Money Records as kind of the, uh, you know, the main performers. And they're very talented, they're very good at what they do. They produced a lot of hits. Um, the downside, unfortunately, is that they kind of represent an era that a lot of black folks are, are leaving behind. A lot of black people you know, they don't want to be in the trap. <laughs> they don't want to get shot up in the hood. They don't want to sort of relive and celebrate and glorify the trauma. Um, I still remember Lil Wayne having a song where he said, I'll take your girl, I'll make a nut for me, then slut for me, then kill for me, then steal for me. And of course, it'll be yo cash. And then I'll murder that bitch and send her body back to yo ass. And when I heard that, I was very disappointed because I think that that extraordinary talent that he has could be used for so many things other than something like that right and uh and then of course there's some people that are mad about things that wayne has said about black lives matter about racism you know and, and 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 i think we're moving past these days i think we're getting to the point where people when they see some you know rapper who's half high half drunk half don't give a damn you know doped up on white people fame doped up on the money who doped up on record label uh uh validity and disrespectful to the community a lot of people don't like that anymore i remember in 2013 uh I worked with the family of Emmett Till to kind of address and Stevie Wonder helped us and Jesse Jackson and all that because, you know, Lil Wayne had made a terrible lyric about Emmett Till. And he said, uh, if I have sex with your girl, her, her face will, uh, her vagina will look like Emmett Till's face or something like that. And I thought that was just beneath um, the talent that he represents. And I think that this is what people are remembering. Uh, you know, it's not me. It's, it's really everybody. Everybody's kind of saying this. So my position on this is, look, it's what's happening in my opinion. <coughs> Is that you know if you notice Kendrick Lamar is about 15 years after Lil Wayne. I think Lil Wayne started to blow up in the in the uh, late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, Kendrick, in my view, he came more so on my radar around 2013, 2012. He was around before that, of course, but that's really when he I think really began to really emerge. Maybe it was earlier than that. Uh, I'm not going to debate that. My point is to say that I think Kendrick represents the new era of black people. I think Kendrick represents what we want to be instead of what we used to be. I think Kendrick, uh, maybe Wayne comes out of the era of, of trauma and mass incarceration, uh, glorifying the drug dealer, all that. Kendrick, when I listened to his latest song, uh, where he shouted out D1, who's also from New Orleans, by the way, who should be, he should perform at the Super Bowl too, I think. If you want to get some New Orleans talent, remember Lil Wayne and Cash Money, they're not the only ones out of New Orleans. You got a lot of talented artists out of there. And I, and I think that just for the sake of politics, they're going to bring some of them on there. I, I just can't imagine performing in New Orleans and not at least giving some tribute to the New Orleans artists because there's so much talent there. Um, but in his latest song, I, I, I got a sense Kendrick was basically saying uh, something about, he said something about letting the party die. I'm not an artist. I can't tell you what he was thinking, but I said, okay, I get it. He's really kind of talking about something that I've been talking to you guys about for a while, which is I'm tired of the bullshit. You know, I think a lot of us are tired of the idea of an ignorant, jacked up, doped out, black man who don't love nobody don't care about his own damn kids halfway don't respect women uh you know glorifying drug dealing drug using and all that 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 sort of stuff is kind of played out i don't think people want to remember that you know that's a painful period in black history and so i think that probably played a part in why kendrick lamar was selected uh over some of the other people that could have been picked Again, that's my two cents on it, and it is a financial thing. It's all about the money, man. They, they, these people that are running these record labels, they don't look like us. They're paying our most talented people money to destroy us. They're paying them money to sit on your trauma and to just get you to spread your trauma to as many people as possible. Uh, they're paying us money to represent the worst of us instead of celebrating the best of us. So I'm going to tell you this. In my opinion, I think Kendrick Lamar and definitely D1, uh, who he mentioned in his last song and all that, I just think that represents the best of us, man. And I, you can't disagree with me on that. I mean, who wants to see more black men abandoning their children and, and disrespecting women and getting shot up in the street and going to prison and getting high on drugs that damage your brain for life, throwing away black wealth? Don't nobody want to see that shit. You know, so I'm, I'm kind of like Kendrick. I'm not a rapper, 
But when he said, I, I'm going to watch the party die, that's what I was hearing was like, it's time for that party to die. And it's time for a new party to start, one that glorifies and celebrates uh, the greatness that lies within us. And, and Lil Wayne, I think, and people like that are invited to the party. You know, he's older now. Maybe he's evolved. Uh, I, I think he has. I hope he has. Uh, but I think all of us as a community, man, we got to get past that nonsense. It ain't, it ain't the 9-9 and the, the what is what, uh, <laughs> this is for the 9-9 and the 00 or whatever that's, you know, just, just a, and the 2000s. Like, this ain't the 2000s no more, man. This is 2024. And there's a new black man. There's a new black woman. There's a new black community. And I personally vote for that that's what i want to see so anyway shout out to everybody and all the art, great artists out here all of these guys are talented and all these ladies are talented but there's different ways to show your talent your talent is like a gun you can either point your gun at your adversary and use it to defend yourself or you can point your gun at your mother's face and kill her we have pointed the gun of hip-hop at our own face and it's been killing us for a long time and i'm tired of it so i agree with kendrick I'm t it's time to let the party die anyway guys i'm out of here i'm dr boyce Watkins. feel free to go to my website we do financial training every single day uh economic elevation financial consciousness i teach that every morning for free to anybody in the community that wants to join so if you'd like to join us just go to b1moneytips.com uh be the number one moneytips.com. I'll see you guys later. Take care now. Let me get home and get a shower. I'll see you later. Peace.